Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to my new Power BI Embedded Step by Step series. You are watching 8th part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about how we can embed our Power BI report with master account username and password using ASP.NET SDK. In our earlier session, we have discussed about the embedding procedure with the service principal. Now, let's get started with the similar embedding process with master account information. So let's get started. So the very first step is that you need to register your Power BI app into Azure AD. The registration process for Power BI app is something which I already shown you in the sixth part of this series. So now let me just do some fast forward process over here and then we will move to the next part which is most important that assigning some delegate permissions over here. So let's get started. So open up your Azure portal, click on this humble bug menu and now let's click on Azure Active Directory from the left navigation. So here there is Azure Active Directory, let's click on that. Now let's create a new app over here. So now just click on app registration from the left navigation click on new registration just give the name of your app now i am providing the app name as power bi embedded 2021 app owns data master account now from supported account type let's select the second one that is accounts in any organizational directory now redirect url is optional now just click on register app so this is the same procedure that i have shown you in the sixth part of this series now we need to make some more improvements over here now the first thing that we need to do here is we need to provide the api permission for that from the left navigation click on api permission now here you can see that in out of the box manner microsoft graph permission has been added over here now let me do add some more permission over here for that click on add a permission here you just need to select power bi service now for master account we need to click on delegated permission in case of service principal we have selected application permission but in case of master account we need to select delegate permission click on expand all now select each individual permission from here so let me select app capacity content dashboard data data flow data set gateway group metadata report storage account tenant user state workspace and click on add permissions the permission has been added successfully now let's just grant admin consent click on grant admin consent for dsha 27 click on yes and the consent has been granted successfully now the third important step that we need to do here is go to the overview step and now we just need to click on redirect URI section select that now from here just go to at the very bottom and here you will be finding an option allow public client flow and there is an option to enable the following mobile and desktop flow you just need to turn on this thing and click on save you just need to make this many of changes first and now you need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes that your application is being successfully registered and every permission is granted successfully to you over here let's wait for some time meantime let's create new power bi workspace and uh, let's publish our report there and then we will download the solution for embedding so let me just move over to my power bi service now let me just create new workspace first so i am clicking creating new workspace and now let me just give the name of my workspace as power bi embedded 
2021 master user and that will create my workspace now this workspace is something which is created by me meaning my user now one more important thing for master user you should have the power bi service administrator right on your power bi tenant so let's say my username is dhruvinsha at dsha27.onmicrosoft.com meaning this account should have enough access of power bi service admin center and to check that just click on this settings and then just go to the admin center settings and admin portal and now if you are able to view all of these options meaning you have the sufficient right as a power bi service admin second important thing is that you should have the owner rights on your power bi workspace so make i created this workspace using my account so definitely i will be having the admin permission so make sure that your account has admin permission so these are the few important things that you need to keep in mind third thing is that now let's go to our azure portal and let's copy few things that we are going to use for this authentication so first of all let's copy our client id meaning app id and paste that into notepad so let me just add my client id here similar way let me just add my tenant id we just need to copy these two things from here similar way we just need to copy the report id and workspace id right now in order to do that let's publish one of the report into this workspace and then let's copy those ids now let me just open up my github repository from where you can download this entire solution and don't worry i am going to provide this solution file to my github repository links are down below in the description box so uh, make sure that you download this entire code file first so i'm just downloading this zip now let me just open up the folder and now let's extract this file the files has been extracted successfully now here i have one sample power bi file provided now let's upload that power bi file or let's publish the file you can publish the file using power bi desktop as well so publish that file so i'm just using a shortcut here i'm just uploading my power bi file here local files and let's publish the file so my power bi report has been published successfully now what i want to do here is i just wanted to embed this particular report to my dotnet solution using master account meaning my user account right now let's copy the workspace id and report id so let me just zoom in a little bit so from this url you will be finding this workspace id so let's copy this workspace id from here and let's paste to the notepad so this is my workspace id and similar way you need the report id as well so let's go to the same url and let's copy the report id so this is the report id so let's just copy that and paste it over here so we have copied client id tenant id workspace id and report id everything in the notepad now let's move forward with the embedding part so open up the github repository and uh, open up the downloaded folder so let me just open up that folder and here you will be finding a folder named apps own data just expand that and here you will be finding master account embedding code for service principal you need to go with this code and for master account you will need to go with this particular code so let's open up that code so let me just copy this folder from here so i am just copying this folder and place that to my d drive and now let me just open up my solution hope you are using visual studio 2019 so i am just double clicking on that to open up my solution click on okay now we just need to rebuild our solution 
for that go to the build menu and just click on rebuild solution the solution has been rebuilded successfully now make sure that you just expand your reference option from here so i'm just zooming a little bit let's expand reference and make sure that you do not have any errors over here also one more important thing make sure that you check package config file and just check that if doesn't has any error in case if we found any error over here then what we need to do here is we just need to click on tools menu then click on NuGet package manager and click on new manage NuGet packages for solution and then it will open the NuGet solution for you you just need to click on update tab and you just need to update the NuGet packages from here this step is something which you need to perform only if you find some errors inside your solution otherwise we are good hope so far you are good with me now the next thing that we need to make change here is just go to the web.config file and here the first code is authentication type so authentication type is master user so we are going to use username and password for this authentication mechanism so we are going to use authentication type is equal to master user then we need to provide our application id workspace id and report id over here so let's just provide that information over here so we already copied this information into notepad so let's copy and paste it from here so first is app id let's copy our app id and let's provide that app id over here so this is the azure app id similar way workspace id and report id let's paste it this is my workspace id and this is my report id right now what i need to do here is we need to provide power bi username and password over here so that's the main reason the service principal method is most popular because in this case we need to provide our username and password information over here into our code solution right so which is not feasible right definitely you can use some code solution like you can store that into azure vault or let's say you can use the encrypted password or encrypted username but this is something that you need to manage using code right so uh, at this moment i am just providing my username and password over here right and in this particular case you do not need to provide application secret so now let's just provide the username and password values over here so let me just provide my username and password so i'm just provide typing my username similar way i'm providing my password and now let me just provide the tenant value over here so tenant id is something that we already copied over here so let's paste it so here for this approach we have provided our authentication type application id workspace id report id then we provided username and password as well as tenant id now let's run our code solution so i'm just running my code solution over here and my report has been embedded successfully now let's try to debug the code the debugging code i already explained in the earlier video but now let's do some fast forward process for that so we will be getting better idea so i am just placing some debug point on my home controller so i am just placing the debug point to my controller my index method and my embed report method now let's refresh our browser window so first of all it just go to the home controller and first of all it will check that if config has any error or not we are getting null from here meaning config doesn't has any value you just press f11 or f10 and just go side by side debugging then it is calling the embed report method now first of all what it will do is it will just call get embed parameters method where it is passing the workspace id and report id 
Now let's press F11. Then what happened here is based on that it is calling the Power BI client. So let's press F11. So it is calling that Power BI client application. And now here it is again calling one more method that is get access token. So let's press F11 and we are here in the get access token method. By default the authentication result is null and now this is the master user authentication method so it is going to this condition and now it will call out this method and here in catch it will just execute this for each loop and we will be getting authentication result over here so let me just press F5 let's press F10 so in authentication result I am getting this entire string over here. Now let's press F10 and we are getting and we have returned our Power BI client from here. Now what happened here is it will get the report information. So we will be having our report string available over here and this will add report data for embedding using this variable. Now it is getting embed token for multiple resources. So it is just executing get embed token using report ID, dataset ID and workspace ID. Now just press F11. Now it is calling this entire method and we will be getting access token from here. So let's just press F10 over here. And now let's check what we are exactly getting here. So we are getting the access token using this method. Now it is providing the embed token as well and we are having the embed parameters in a written statement and at last it is returning the entire embed result into view so you can see that this is our embed token token id and similar way report information is also here so if we expand that we will be having embedded url report id and report name information right so now let's press f10 f10 and now let's go to the view and in view it is calling this layout now let's press f10 f10 and we are having the same code as we have seen in the seventh part of this series now let me just press f5 and our report is being embedded over here so this is how we can embed our power bi report using master account hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question related to this topic, you can add your question in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. Also, if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form. And you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number also if you wish to listen different power platform related podcast click on this link it will be redirecting you to the podcast home page from here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye